A year after the conflict broke between army groups in the south of Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti, various political, social, economic and cultural groups are denouncing the government's neglect in so carbon a crime, a disorder which affects the entire country, but more severely in the capital. On June 1, 2021, gang clashes began for the control of Mortizant, the area that links Port-au-Prince with the four southern departments. The situation has forced more than 20,000 people to flee their homes. Many of them are sleeping in the streets, children and young people are out of the schools since schools had to close. Haiti's Transport Workers Union has joined other organizations in questioning the government of Ariel Henry and they are calling on making the situation visible on all platforms. More than 300 public transport vehicles have been attacked, hijacked or burned. The ongoing armed conflict in Haiti has claimed the lives of more than 180 people so far in 2022.